Welcome to the first tutorial in a very long time. I'm so excited. I have my big camera out. We are doing this. I am going to share my updated natural makeup tutorial because it has changed a lot since back in the day and I wanted to share sort of an updated no foundation, no fuss makeup tutorial using just some of my favorite products and without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I do is of course I conceal. I don't use a foundation anymore. Like even when I go out, I don't use a foundation because I just don't love the way that my skin looks. I love the way clean, fresh skin looks. So if I need to put something on, my preference is like a tinted moisturizer. I'm really picky with it. So if I'm gonna use it, it will be this Rare Beauty one. This one's really nice. And in case you're wondering, my shade is 30N. They did a really good job with this formula. Love it so much. It's got SPF 20, which is nice little added bonus but for the most part I just use concealer I have been using this concealer I don't even know for how long <laughs> probably ever since they launched it it's still one of my favorite concealers I know I've used this a million times before on my channel but I was just like going through my concealers and I'm like what do I love the most like this is truly one of the best formulas on the market still so until I make my own this is gonna be my favorite NARS radiant creamy and custard let's zoom in a bit because I don't wear foundation I am I'm pretty generous with my concealer. I will apply it right in the inner corner and then just to lift it on the outer corner but just pulling it up. This definitely makes a difference. And then because I always have blemishes around my jawline, I just have a very light hand with it. I mean, it's whatever is left on my brush at this point. Always my upper lip, wherever I see some redness. And then I always like to use a kabuki brush because it's so much easier than like a beauty blender. This one is the Persona double-ended kabuki brush. It's the conceal and base brush. It is so cute and it is just very soft. I actually use the bigger side a lot of times, even though this is the conceal side. It is a lot easier whenever I do this, but then I'll go back with the little side and just kind of make sure the inner corners are nice and blended too. But initially, I just find that this is really, really easy to use. I don't know if you could see, but just around here, I will go in and make sure that there are no creases, harsh edges, buffing the rest. And then whatever's left on my brush, I will lightly go over my eyelids as well. Usually, if I have like a pimple or something, I'll just go back and apply one more time. The base looks super clean and fresh. Now we're gonna bring in some color and dimension, my favorite part. I always start with Dune because it is just the most perfect color for my skin tone. If you have light to medium skin tone, I always recommend a warmer bronzer versus like a contour stick because it just warms up the skin like crazy. Because I usually don't have too much time whenever I'm doing this kind of makeup, I just am super kind of messy with my application. So I'll usually just do like two and then I will lightly contour, which I understand that you're not technically supposed to contour with like a warmer shade, but it honestly works and it gives me more of like that sun-kissed look. So I feel like it's totally okay. I always put it on my eyelids as well because it's like contouring the eyes and then my forehead and my jawline. And I always contour on top of my jaw versus on the bottom because I want to chisel it. And there's a huge difference. If you want to really chisel the jawline, definitely hit the bronzer on the top like that versus the bottom just a little bit right here and right here by the way this was the number one selling bronzer on alti.com for the longest time so i'm so proud of this formula and proud of the whole team when our buyer emailed us about that and she said you are the number one selling cream bronzer on alti.com i had to double check if she meant to send that email to us and it was so funny she was like no no yes i did mean to send it to you but anyway it was so exciting for the whole team because we obviously all love it and worked so hard so it was really rewarding to get that email <laughs> and then it was sold out for like two months which was heartbreaking <laughs> for me and everyone else that like fell in love with the formula but it's finally back which i'm so happy about we had like 7,000 people on the wait list for the dreamstick collection which i was like holy smokes this is so unreal <sighs> i'm sure if you guys have been with me for a long time you know how nervous and like nervous and excited i was like almost seven years ago when we launched the brand and to see us like here is so exciting and crazy at the same time you can probably see because as i'm talking i'm just blending it it blends really beautifully so you don't have to work too hard make sure you have a nice base underneath it like a good moisturizer a good sunscreen for the jawline i just kind of take it down 
down. Look at how much more bronzy I look. It just gives you dimension and color at the same time. So that's why I prefer bronzing and contouring at the same time, especially when you know, you're trying to do it quick. And then after my bronzer, I'll use a cream blush again from the Dreamstick family. Usually I go for Bubble or Teddy. This is Dune and this is Teddy. So as you can see, it's a nice warm kind of nude color. So again, it just depends on my preference and what I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll even use Kiss, which is more of a red color. I think today I'm just gonna go for Bubble because I just think that it's so pretty and unexpected because when you first put it on, it just looks crazy <laughs> and then when you blend it you're like whoa this is actually quite nice like it's just a really pretty soft pink and teddy you can also use on the eyes so sometimes i'll just run this on my eyes as well and the reason why i don't wear foundation is because you know once you put on all these cream products i mean you really don't need to because at this point almost like every part of your skin is covered except for here which is why i sometimes kind of go over it to make sure it's like nice and blended i love a dewy skin but sometimes i will put a little powder underneath my eyes and just kind of like around the larger pores and this is the charlotte tilbury powder because it's just easy to use um, instead of like a translucent powder. This is in number two medium and I feel like I could use number one. Then I move on to my brows and I'm using the Persona Swipe Up in Warm Brown. If I'm out of Warm Brown, I will use brown, but I think I prefer the Warm Brown because I love like a lighter brow. Just kind of fill in and brush it upwards. So the way I fill in, I don't know if you saw that, but I'll just kind of run the brush across. So what that does is it kind of fills it in. Then I will brush it up and sort of fluff it at the same time. This is also such an amazing formula. It's made in Korea. It was the first product we made outside of the US, which was so exciting because I've always wanted to work with Korean labs. This right here, you can tell it's made really, really well. I don't do this every day, but lately I'm really into faux freckles. So I'll use this little freck, um, faux freckle thing. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. It's called freck. And I'll just create like faux freckles. I don't know. It's just like one of those things where I just go through phases. Sometimes I really love it. And sometimes I don't, but right now I'm into it. So I just apply it and then kind of quickly spread it with my finger so it just makes it look more real. I have days where it just looks so real and then sometimes it just looks kind of fake. So you kind of have to take your time, I feel. God, I just feel like it creates such a youthful look. I, I would love to get your honest opinion on faux freckles. Like, do you think it's cute? Whenever I feel like I need a little more blush, I usually match whatever I'm wearing with the powder version. So in this case, I'm just gonna use the powder bubble. I keep lo looking at the viewfinder. I need to stop doing that. Oh gosh, this brush is really shedding. My power brush is dirty, so I'm using this one, which actually is really nice, but it's shedding a lot. It's um, by Bobbi Brown. It's really fluffy and nice. Yeah, I used to have like a big monitor, so it's kind of nice because I didn't have to look at the viewfinder, but now like I fi find myself watching myself doing makeup, which is, oh yeah, I feel good about this pink. I just love this color so much. Oh, this is currently sold out, but it's hopefully coming back very, very soon. If I'm in the mood, I'll put on a little bit of a wing liner just on the outer corners, and I usually won't opt for like a black. Sometimes I'll do brown, but for the most part, I'll either go for like a plum, or in this case, it's like a bronzy copper color. This one's called bronze, but it just looks very, very natural. The reason why I sometimes like to do that, it just like really elongates my eye. And then I'll use the same one on my waterline. It just adds something really nice and it also makes my brown eyes sparkle a little bit. I don't know if you can see the difference. Lastly for the eyes, I just curl my lashes. And honestly, sometimes I just leave it like this or I'll put on a little bit of mascara, but I am testing out mascaras. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. I've been developing a mascara for like a year and a half. No, definitely a year, maybe even a year and a half. And it is so far the hardest thing I have ever done. <laughs> the reason why it's so hard is because it's not just the formula you're testing, it's the actual brush. So you might like the formula, hate the brush, you might like the brush, it doesn't work with the formula. It's just like so many different things. Also trying to make it free of a bunch of things is also kind of difficult with mascara, but we are so Close. Like I actually really like this version. Do you like this type of brushes where like the tip has that little ball? Let me know. 
I love how pink my cheeks look right now. Just putting a little bit of lip liner. I'm gonna put on lipstick today. I usually don't. I usually put like a lip balm or something, but I'm in the mood. This is by Hermes and it is number 13, Beige Kalahari. And then sometimes to tie in the pink, I'll even put a little bit of bubble in the center. And that's it. This is my updated, fresh, easy makeup tutorial. I feel like this is perfect for spring, summertime too, just because of the flush of color on the cheeks. I feel like a lot has changed in that I used to like fill in my brows like crazy. I used to do more of a darker liner. Sometimes I would even pop individual lashes and I would be like, welcome back to another natural makeup tutorial. <laughs> so this is truly like what I feel the most confident in. I wear this look both daytime and nighttime and I feel like it just looks really good with like a lot of different looks let me know if you want to see more tutorials because it's been a minute but maybe we could do like an updated smudged smoky eye because i still love those looks and that has definitely changed as well over the years so this is the look from afar again just like really fresh and natural with lots of color on the cheeks. These necklaces are inspired by Ashley Simpson. I went to an event yesterday hosted by Emma Roberts. It was like a collaboration she did with DSW and uh, Ashley Simpson showed up with the most incredible jewelry collection. Like she just had maybe like 10 different necklaces on from like here all the way to like here. Everyone was like, oh my God, someone even took a photo of it. It looked so good. I should have done that. But anyway, I'm just like very inspired to layer necklaces now after that. Anyway, this is the look. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you want to see next and I will see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>